all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and we are back in the 547 beta and things are getting spicy man things are getting real spicy after my last video i told you guys that we'll be taking a look at the uniforms in this one but if you wanted to see something different hit me up on discord and we can definitely make it happen and that's exactly what a lot of you guys did i saw some of y'all talking in the marvel future fight chat and a couple of you guys sent me some dms haven't been able to get through all of them yet however what you guys wanted to see was in regards to the new changes that we got to dimension missions because this came out of nowhere and now i know why cm fragment mentioned changes that were coming in 5.7 because in addition to the changes to story missions which make them so honestly one of the most fun and challenging game mode yes fun and challenging game mode we currently have we now have changes to dimension missions now before we jump into that i seen a bunch of you guys messaging me saying yo bro it's only a chance to get a ctp or a premium comic card why are you losing your mind you know it's gonna be like a 0.00001% chance and it's only gonna be like one player every like six months that get a premium card or a CTP or whatever. And I just wanna say, stop being so negative, man. Stop, like the fact that they added all of the premium items in the game for the most part into story missions. They took the time to make it something fun, challenging and rewarding, right? to me is definitely a good sign right so i don't see why people are freaking out right now saying man story missions are too hard like i legit got people messaging me saying they seen one youtuber or live streamer trying to clear this thing and it was so hard and now they're like they don't want to do it they're turned off from it i'm like what like for the longest time one of the major things that we had to say about story missions were they were so easy, they were insignificant, they were a waste of time because there was nothing of real value there. Then the Future Fight team takes the time to actually make this fun, rewarding, challenging, customizable, right? Because you can actually customize your characters and give them like between 15 different skills, right? Per character and make it so that you can get some of the best items in the game, even though it's low odds, right? And you're not guaranteed to get anything here that, that you want. Oh my goodness, come on guys. It's too early to get upset. This is a major win for the community as a whole. This tells us that someday, game modes like ABX, Danger Room, and all the other game modes like Timeline Battle, Alliance Conquest, Alliance Tournament, that we've been asking to get a rework. Those game modes could actually one day get a rework like this. We don't wanna discourage these people by saying, oh my goodness this thing is too hard you know the reward should be like i legit had people saying yo they should give us a guaranteed ctp or premium card after every stage that we complete i'm like bruh like i can't even take you serious when you when you're saying nonsense like that so cut it out man cut it out i think this is okay I get screwed by RNG more than the average person because I gamble with resources basically every month and I probably will be gambling for a CDP of Rage in the next couple of days on my own account. So when I say that I'm okay with this, I'm not saying it to encourage more RNG. I'm just saying before, the best you could get out of story missions, right, with the recent changes was some biometrics. If you didn't clear it yet, you could get Odin. You could get... Um, a CTP of energy or Blue Marvel. Now you have a chance to get some of the amazing premium cards that we you would otherwise not have access to, right? My only concern is whether or not this is going to be replayable after you unlock the Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America uniform. Word is, after you complete this thing the first time, you're gonna have to complete it a second time from start to finish. However, this time you will unlock captain america's uniform and then after that you unlock black widow something along those lines that's what i'm hearing i haven't gone any further than what i showcased to you guys because i'm saving that experience for when i actually like get the update on my own account this is a test server after all and things could change however from what i'm seeing so far with story missions it's pretty freaking awesome so for the most part you guys shouldn't be complaining it's free stuff 
that's here for you. It's a new challenge to conquer in a game that is almost five years old and to be honest, was getting pretty stale. This is a nice refreshing change and I look forward to seeing a future game mode reworks in the future. Shout out to the Future Fight team. This was well done. There are a few things that could be tweaked, but for now, it is really, really good. Let's actually jump into the Dimension missions, my friends. Definitely was not expecting this thing to get touched because of the fact that they buffed it immediately after they implemented it. And right now, in the live server on 5.6, it's really good. The only thing that's really lacking is we could use a couple more comic cards. Uru drops are decent. Custom gear drops are beyond unbelievable, right? So yeah, an ISO set just floods my inventory so much that I've actually started selling them, right? The gear up kits, uh, sorry, the uniform upgrade kits from the actual missions themselves, uh, kind of low, but you can buy them from the shop. So it more than makes up for it. Speaking of buying stuff from the shop, check this out. There is now a VIP discount on all of the biometrics in the support shop. In addition to that, all of the biometrics that were taken from story missions, actually they were not taken because if you take a look right here in story missions, you will see that as you progress, you get more biometrics. So basically all of the biometrics that were in story missions before, they're still there. It's just randomized and you cannot choose which one you farm for. However, if you want to choose which one you farm for, you can go in here and just buy them from the shop with your token. My only concern is, will we be getting more tokens than we were before to make sure that we can get the bios for the special mission characters or the Dimension Rift characters like say, Yellow Jacket, the Wasp, Giant Man, and so on. So we can pick up those like we were before in addition to like people that we're getting from the story missions. That's my only concern. But the thing is you can always farm for more tokens here. Low amount, but you can still farm for them. So it's nice that they put them in the shop and there's also a VIP discount for the people who spend a little bit of cash on the game. If you want to know how much of a discount you'll receive, all you have to do is click on your VIP level and the max it goes up to is 250 um, tokens off the uh, full price. But if you go all the way down, you'll see that it starts all the way at VIP one okay so that's really really good and then at vip what is it vip four it goes up to 100 off and then at vip seven is it yep vip seven it goes to 150 off and then at vip 10 200 off and then at vip 13 250 off this is nice because before people who were high vip level they could um actually make use of the dimension riff bonus to get more biometrics and more gold and stuff. So it's nice to see that they're bringing back some of the value that they took from high VIP players, right? However, the big win here for everyone as a whole, but especially for the free to play community is this thing right here. You see where it says 20 out of 20 in the top right hand corner, just below the menu. Check this out. Bada bing, bada boom. Support hero upon completing dimensional missions randomly acquire one of the following heroes biometric data slash x gene or in brackets we have x gene and you can see you have five options here you have farmable characters and you have one unfarmable character in valkyrie a bio selector character and it seems as though there will pretty much always be one biometric selector character there or one x gene selector character we're gonna try to reroll it a couple times to see if we can land like five premium options and then we're gonna run it and see what happens now from what i've gathered you're not guaranteed to get a biometric for these characters every single time you run these missions however as long as you keep running the missions you have you can acquire up to 20 biometrics right per day so basically what you would want to do here is just re-roll for gold if you're free to play which again it's 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 rng but it's a chance to get premium biometrics you can't choose which one but you can kind of manipulate the odds in your favor so basically the smartest thing to do here from what i'm seeing right now would be to reroll all of these so you get three out of five or if you could five out of five premium options then run these dimension missions over and over and over again until you get the 20 out of 20 and 
in theory, you should get 20 premium bios or X genes every single day, right? Like this will be a one in five odds. You don't want to take that chance. So you would just reroll this and you can see for yourself, every time you reroll it, it goes up by a good amount and it doesn't look as though you can get more than one. Ah, so th see, this is the first time I'm doing it. I'm doing it with you live. The only gripe I have here, it doesn't seem as though you can get more than one premium option in the pool. So that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate, but it's still better than nothing, right? It's a slow drip, but it's better than nothing. And you can see it's a very large pool. None of the premium characters that were released in 2019 or now 2020 are currently in this. So I know some of you guys are going to immediately complain, say, yo, I want the newest paywall. I want them right now. I don't want to wait. But ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to wait and you're free to play, stop being free to play. Okay. When you're free to play, patience, time, that's your thing. You have to understand that they need to make money by some means. And at the very least, it is very, very nice that they're making it so that now you have more ways than ever to get premium items and premium biometrics. They literally added in X genes into Danger Room a few months ago. And now they're bringing in, even though a lot of these paywall characters are no longer good, keep in mind, they won't be garbage forever. As paywall characters, they're destined to get an upgrade at some point in the future because that's money to be made, right? So just keep that in mind. So even though these characters, most of them, are currently irrelevant, it is still nice that you can farm them slowly in the background, right? And one day when they eventually become really good, you will have them at six stars, you have them at tier two, right? And then you can make use of them now being super awesome from getting a uniform and you didn't have to pay a dime. Now, ideally, you should be going after people like Ghost Panther, I would say Luna Snow, Valkyrie because she's a good support, my guy Miguel, Agent Venom, and Hyperion is decent. Carnage gets a lot of love and one day we would like to see Carnage become amazing. So I would say go after him as well. And then obviously top choice here for pretty much everyone is Gambit, Weapon X, and maybe Magic since you can form Colossus from the uh, stupid X-Men mission. So it is very, very, very nice that they're actually giving away premium bios and premium X genes for simply just doing something that you were going to be doing regardless, right? You were absolutely going to be running Dimension Missions every single day without fail. Even if you don't have a lot of time, you would come in here and you would literally just clear ticket all of this thing. And yeah, you could possibly still get these rewards. I'm actually going to try it right now to see what happens if I just clear ticket this. Do I still get the support hero or not? Okay, so these were just, yep. So support hero can still be gained from, yeah from clear ticketing that's good and you can what holy shit sticks so what's this you can get up to six bios for them what this was a crit because it's yellow so scratch what i said about um you can get 20 per day how much how many did that take off let me see something here boys you you could actually hit a lick and and really walk away like a bandit. Let me see something here. So that only took off six. Wow. So check this out, right? Even though I got way more than six biometrics, it only counts as one entry per, oh my goodness, per mission completed reward. So basically, even though I got six um, of these lash, was it lash bios? I see, I, I, I'm flustered right now. Even though I got one run, actually it was Ant-Man, right? Even though I had one run where I gained six Ant-Man bios, right? It didn't count as six here because if that was the case, I would have lost pretty much all of my entries, right? So that's really, really cool. If you get super lucky, you could get up to like a hundred plus biometrics. That is actually pretty freaking awesome, guys. So I'm gonna reroll this again. Okay, we got Luna Snow, perfect. What I'm gonna do here is actually a couple more um, clear ticketed 
runs and see how long it takes me to get a premium bio. No premium bio. So no premium bio, but how much did that take off? That, that took me down to seven. Oh, wow. Hold up. It switched over to crystals. Why is that? I need to actually go back and pay attention to how many actually, how many rolls I did and why it switched over to crystals. Some of you guys are not gonna like that, but at the end of the day, this is still a really good feature. So yeah, we're just gonna test this out a little bit more here and then we're gonna wrap it. So a lot of additional bios, but still no premium. As to be expected, the premium bios probably have a lower drop rate. But nonetheless, at the very least, over time, if you're doing this thing every single day, which you should, you will still be able to unlock premium characters basically for free. From there, obviously, what you want to do is give them a six star mega rank up ticket. If it's somebody like Luna Snow, Ghost Panther, Weapon X, that kind of deal, then you just slowly use the small amount of um, biometrics or X genes that you get for them to get their gears to 20. And then you just save all of the other remaining biometrics or X genes to work on uniforms for them in the future. If you are free to play, that is the best approach, which means you can get these characters for free without spending a dime. That is really, really good, all right? It could be better, but it's still a really good feature. And I think this is, once again, a massive, massive upgrade to this game. It's definitely gonna be an amazing quality of life change here. And I think if you're free to play, gratitude is the only emotion you should be feeling right now. Some of you guys are gonna be super salty because for some reason, to change after a certain amount of times, which it didn't really tell me unless I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it was 20 times that I could change. I'm gonna go back and I'll figure it out. But nonetheless, the point is you can get premium bios for free now, more than you ever could before. This is a major win. Let me know how you guys are feeling. We're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.